So at this point in time, we've had an extended dry spell. Um, we have a, a critical crile moisture deficit on a number of farms uh, where we have a soil moisture deficit in excess of 50 millimetres. Uh, this has led to reduced growth rates. Normally, this time of year, we would see growth rates of 50 to 60 kilograms of dry matter per day. Uh, there's a wide variation across our, our geography. Uh, we're seeing some farms with a, with a growth rate of uh, 15 to 20 kilograms a day, and we're seeing other farms up as, at 60 to 70 kilograms a day. The rotation length on dairy farms during early to mid-September should be approximately 30 to 35 days, and with that, cows should go into covers of, of approximately 16 to 1800. Now at this point in time with the uh, critical soil moisture deficit, you know, there's a lot of cows going into covers of only seven to 800. So those cows are only roughly getting half the amount of grass they would normally get. Also towards the end of September, the average farm cover should be closer to 1100 kilograms of dry matter per hectare. Today on a lot of farms, I mean, herds are probably only roughly half that value. So again, there's a lot, there's a big gap there to be filled and the only way to fill that gap in the short term is to, is to supplement with concentrate, supplement with surplus bale silage and, and or alternatively bring in a, a high dry matter um, buffer feed like soya hulls. So at this point in time it's, the, it's time to put in a number of remedial uh, scenarios into place. Um, as grass is, is tight, a lot of people have increased the level of concentrate, so they've increased concentrate to five, six, seven kilograms depending on the, on the grass gap that's there. A uh, number of people are also brought in some silage and preferably surplus silage. The winter feed is very, very important not to touch that. That's your reserve. Eating into that now is not a good idea at this early stage. So by all means, use what surpluses is there and, uh, and increase the level of concentrate. If your surplus silage is running out, then it's important to feed a buffer feed of, of dry concentrate. Uh, a product like Saya Hulls, for example, or a bee feed or something uh, along those lines or a coarse feed. And again, feed that at three to four, five kilos, depending on the individual situation. Looking forward, it's time to do a, a forage budget. It's time to just determine what level of silage you have in stock. Uh, so get out, uh, measure the pits, get a handle on what's there, and also allow for a buffer reserve within that, within that calculation also. And then it's time to start filling that gap. This year, it looks as if there's a lot of straw available. So straw could be very, very important from a, from a, from a forage deficit point of view. Uh, one kilogram of straw with animals in good body condition will save four to five kilograms of silage. Uh, an additional one kilogram of concentrate will also save four to five kilograms of silage depending on the dry matter of that silage. So the key message is to start early, be proactive on this. Uh, if you need to feed some extra silage, secure that, secure that silage now. If you need to source some extra straw or hay, secure that straw and hay now. If you need to uh, spare silage, spare it from the start. Start feeding that kilogram or two kilograms of straw earlier on. Start feeding that kilo or two of concentrate from the start of housing. And by doing so then, you build up a reserve over the winter. So for example, 10 kilograms of silage spared per day over a 30 day period will build to a reserve of 300 kilos, which is a substantial reserve if built up over, over three months. And it's going to be very, very important to have that reserve there for next, uh, for next February, next March, depending on what happens with weather at, at that point in time. But today the critical issue is to keep cows milking, keep, keep beef animals thriving. And to do that, they will, need to be, they will need to be fed, they will need concentrate. Animals have performed well, milk solids have been good, but it's still early days. I mean, there's a lot of lactation still left. So it's about keeping, that, keeping those cows well fed over the next, uh, over the next number of, of weeks and months to avoid any, any major reduction. The normal reduction is 2.5% per week. Uh, if the reduction is greater than that, well then those cows need extra feeding, they need extra dry matter intake and they, they may need extra concentrate also to fill that, to fill that gap that's there. Uh, body condition should be increasing at this stage and also mineral reserve should be increasing at this stage. Uh, a key element of, of feeding if you have to feed straw over the winter is to make sure that uh, there's enough feed space and to make sure that animals are, are, are in good body condition before they go on to straw and also making sure that they have plenty of, of minerals during the, uh, during the dry period as, as well. Uh, starting next week we are holding a number of forage and winter fodder information meetings uh, whereby we will look at the current soil moisture deficit situation and the grass shortage that have arisen as a result of that. We will also look forward into next winter and look at a number of scenarios where if people are tight in silage uh, their options, what options are available to them and what solutions are available to them also. For more information, please contact your Tier Lawn Farm Life Business Manager, local branch or visit tierlawnfarmlife.com.